Afternoon, guys. Um, ten years married to a Filipina. Uh, first thing I want to say is you can't really define everybody as the same, as in the same way a lot of you guys won't like being called that you're a typical stereotype where you come from. Um, every Filipino is very different. And like anywhere in the world, you have different personalities, different qualities, different traits. Um, and I've got to admit, after 10 years being married, it's probably been the, the least stressful time in my working life in the sense of prior to that, you're at school. Life's not too bad in school, let's be honest. You ain't got bills to pay. Life's a lot less complicated. Okay, you've got all the dating scenarios, but beyond that, it's pretty good living. Um, but the last decade, even when some of the situations have been quite difficult, a lot of it is how it's dealt with. My wife, for example, is very upbeat most of the time, so it doesn't matter how bad the situation is. Um, she's always looking for tomorrow, and things will be okay, not worry about it. Where I'm more of a person that actually has like a five-year, 10-year, 20-year plan on pretty much everything, so it's um, a long-term thing for me. But having a partner that's confident that you'll get there regardless and more focused on the family orientation and things working out and not too concerned with keeping up with the Joneses, not concerned about materialism um it's good because it allows me to focus on what i want to be doing which in the end benefits both of us you know the, and then benefits the whole family because when you've got partners that I'm more concerned about how other people are thinking. And then those same people that are thinking about it is actually looking to manipulate in the first place. Life can be quite complicated and you end up with all these arguments and problems that often don't even need to exist. We don't... We haven't even had an argument. It sounds a bit strange, but in a decade we've never argued. And... It's, I mean, even with some of the big expenses over the years, it's. I already know my wife appreciates it, and I know financially I can afford it, but also it's taking care of your own. You know, at the end of the day, I wouldn't think twice on it, regardless of, um, you know, what, like, for example, one of my brothers needed a kidney, wouldn't think twice on it. Um, in the same way, my wife is my wife, and... My kids are my kids. That's it. Um, but like my in-laws have been very good to us, so I treat them with the same respect I treat my own parents with. Um, I think that makes things a lot more stable, happy, content, because you're not bothered about money or anything else. And I'll be honest with you, we're looking at something now that it a very big potential to make a lot of money in the next few months. Um, right now, I'm doing fine. Financially, I'm making some good money. Uh, if anybody's watching Jay's Real Deal channel, you'll see he's doing good money as well. Um, but ultimately, I'm looking to take it to the next level because this is another thing people sort of assumed everything just falls into place straight away when you move to an entire new country trying to develop businesses and stuff. Um, for over, for two years, so many things were on hold. Because uh, the problem we have is dealing with immigration. It limits my access to travel because I've got to deal with April's um, right to be in Spain, which is tied into my EU citizenship, which limits my periods in the UK. It also means that we're dealing with multiple embassies. We're dealing with legislation, left, right, and center bringing April's mother over to Spain. Um, we're now getting through to the final stages of that where we're actually wanting measurements of the house and stuff to make sure there's enough space for her while she's here on a visit. Um, there's a long list of stuff that is all tied together in dealing with the bureaucracy of moving to a new country. The end of this year, which is the last quarter um, of 20, oh, wait, 2017, um, it's been focused on business development. Prior to that, started some stuff, but 
I couldn't take it to the next level because I needed everything else to drop into place. We're now at a relatively good position now where things are starting to fall into place. And I'm not going to expand out on it too much right now because, quite simply, we've still got a long way to go. Um, but financially, we're fine. But for where I want us to be, we've still got a long way to go. Um, but it's being in a unique position. And we're, we're start, starting to get there. It's... Uh, taking its time, but mañana, mañana is famous in Spain for a sp specific reason, because that's how it works here. Um, it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, what can you do about it? There's no point griping about it and complaining. At the end of the day, it ain't going to speed them up. It's been like that since history began, or when the first person said mañana, mañana. <laughs> um, but it's just part of life. But for us, we enjoy it here. I mean, we went out for a... We actually went for a curry. Well, I went for a curry because it was freezing the other day. So for our anniversary dinner, April had steak. Well, I was quite happy in a uh, vindaloo curry. Um, well, we had his pizza and Zoe on chicken nuggets and bacon with rice. <laughs> Zoe's so traditional on the, the Filipino food stuff. Um, but... Yeah, all's good. All's good. Got a, April a load of anniversary stuff yesterday as well. Um, so, because we, we're in a better position than we have been. Like I said, with the insecurity of dealing with immigration, paperwork, etc., you're stuck dealing with legislation and the delays that come with it without focusing on progressing. See, now we're in a position to progress, which means like buying the house, buying new furniture, um, expanding our opportunities here in Spain. Prior till all the paperwork starts getting done and signed off and agreed, you're sort of sitting there going, no point investing yet. You've got to look at businesses that can be moved. You know, they don't need to be physically in Spain. Uh, but now we're in a position where we can physically open a shop, we can open a whatever we want to do because we're now solid in Spain long term, which for me is important. It means that this uh, 10 years now is an important year. You know, the, the 10th year we've actually become almost Spanish. You know, I say almost Spanish because my Spanish is still not great, but April's is improving all the time and so many Spanish say how good her Spanish is. <laughs> so she, she's doing something right. Um, also, April's got um, a job as well here now as well. Um, so things are going well. So I've got to admit, I'm content in Spain. I'm happily married. And the thing with April's money, it's her money. She can do what she likes with it. And that's, that's an important thing. If you want a long-term marriage, is giving your partner independence. I know some guys are a bit paranoid. The wife's going to do this. The girlfriend's going to do that. You know what? If that's going to happen, it'll happen anyway. But if you don't give them their independence and the ability to do what they want with their own lives, then you actually create more problems for yourself. You're actually doing more damage to your relationship than you realize. Because sometimes it's not a case of where you go, oh, well, I'll just give the, you know your partner money or whatever. There's stuff that you wouldn't want them to spend their money on, but they'd want to do it anyway. That just creates arguments, and it's just not worth the hassle. Um, so, I mean, like financially, April keeps the bank cards anyway. For myself, I, I deal in cash. Um, I don't really need the bank cards. And the thing with me is if I go off to work somewhere overseas, um, April's financially already set up. You know, there's plenty of money in the bank for a few months, etc. cetera. Um, and I think that's the point is you've got to find the balance where you're actually working as a couple, as a married couple, and you understand the sacrifices you both make, as well as meeting the right person at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the big one, because I know a lot of guys have had a lot of problems, and I'm sure a lot of girls have had a lot of problems with a lot of guys, but that all comes with waiting. I mean, I would no intention of getting into a relationship um, 
before I met April. I had just come out of a relationship that I'd been in for 11 years. Um, I was actually looking at buying a Porsche. I'd come out of that relationship and financially, I'd suddenly seen my spare cash increase significantly because I didn't have all that burden that I previously had, um, which is why I was buying a new Porsche. Now it's a case of, I think I'll be buying another Porsche in the near future. At the same time, the decades passed, happily married, living in a nice house, got my own office space, which is one of the things I really needed, and I'm looking forward to another decade. Can't complain of that. What else has been going on? Um, right now, there's not a lot to discuss because I've been doing a lot of trading online, uh, financial trading, and it's reaping rewards. Um, yeah, okay, I'll leave it at that for now. It's doing well. Um, the reason I haven't shared it online is quite simply, I'm responsible for my money. I'm not responsible for your money. And I know some people, if I gave them access to some of this stuff, they may lose their money and then sit there complaining about it. Um, so I would say if you're interested in trading, have a look online yourself, research it. Um, can you make a living on it? Yeah, you can. Um, can you lose a lot of money at it? Of course you can. But you need to do your own research and your own homework on it. But there's a lot of expats quietly making money uh, online. And I, I know at least eight that have been doing this for the last 10 years, um, trading in different things, you know, different markets. But it's certainly achievable. So have a look yourself. Thanks for watching.